Happy Monday, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about a trade that we caught on SPY today, kind of give you my reasoning behind it, what I saw, how I managed my trade. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and click that bell icon so you do not miss out on any upcoming videos. So, this is completely different from my game plan for the most part. Okay, now let's talk about for the most part. I was looking for us to come up and touch this small supply that we had up here. We, we come up, we touch it pre-market, right? So what I said, I was looking for a nice sign of reversal coming out of that, or you know, once we reject it. Come up, barely touched it. Um, I would have to fine tune my zone up here, right at it. You can see we're like, what? Uh, a few cents away from the bottom of my zone. So I said, okay, we come back, touched it, picked up, you know, the seller's gotten control, pushing us down. And this is opening five minute candle from here. So now the market has opened. We had a nice push down. That was, you know, showing me sellers were in control. We had some weakness. We pushed down below this prior day close like it wasn't nothing. And we have some room on SPX based off this trade as well. We came back up, retested this VWAP. That's where I entered this trade with puts. We caught the move down here. Now I trimmed once we pushed back down close to this prior day close was my first trim because I like to trim where my first key indicators at, take some size off, lock in some profits. The correct place to trim this would have been at low a day if we'd held and wait till we broke that, which happened not long after. The, my last sale on this trade was at roughly 40% profit, which is a, it's a nice day trade gain. A lot of people underestimate the power of you know, 20, 30, 40% wins. I promise you, not every trade will be 100% gain or, or above. So learn how to lock in profits and don't get too greedy. If you want to catch additional gains, what you do, you leave runners and you adjust your stop loss accordingly. Let them go. They come up and hit your stop loss. Oh, well, you know, if they run another 100, 200%, that's exactly what you wanted, right? And this is not the only trade that was caught out live today. Nate had a nice trade on voice, caught out live. He caught a bounce, another 20, 30% trade. Then Brandon caught another entry on this push down right here, caught this move here. Contract moved really nicely off that. Both of these were, you know, good entries for a short position. Now my stop loss, if I had entered back into this trade, my stop loss would have been when we broke above this 90 MA as you can see here. This would have been a good place to exit with your runners. Clear sign that were some strength coming into the market. We had increase in buying volume as well. Kind of died out here some. And as you can see, this is kind of consolidating now. That being said, uh, the next, and this could be the very last mastermind that we teach this year, but it's coming up. I think it starts like May the 15th, somewhere in that area. Um, if you're interested in that, this could be your last chance to get the application. You'll DM me on uh, Instagram, learn all caps. I'll personally give you the application so you can fill it out if you're interested in learning how to trade with us. And that's all I have for this video. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you next time.